Uh, hi friends, how are you? Uh, uh, thank you so much. I'm going to uh, do a book review uh, on uh, Deep Work. You already I did a book review on on one of my favorite books. What is it? You know this this, this guy. You know this, isn't it? What are they? David Goggins. David Goggins. You can't hurt me. Nobody can hurt me. Uh, so friend, before I go into that, I would like to tell you an introduction. What made me move towards this book? And first is, let me tell you, these are my Gurujis who are sitting behind me and always blessing me. Uh, this is my bedroom. This is my bed where early in the morning, I see my Gurujis. So these are people who, you know, Dev tells me something in my head and Ron tells me something in my head. And uh, uh, Grand Cordon, Dan Logue, these people keep on telling me something to do. You are committed yesterday. We are not done. Of course, it's a friendly... Uh, suggestions and a friendly command okay uh, so uh, say hi to my uh, my australian coach mentor uh, this guy no ye to hamare hindustan ke hai uh, ye ye hai ron malhotra ji uh, ron malhotra you have seen him hi bol dijiye are yaar hi to bolo you are not doing hi you don't know him but you know me isn't it okay see namaste in in indian there is a custom called namaste you know what is namaste Namaste means I respect you, you respect me. It's not a ritual, it has become a ritual. Similarly, hi is I respect you because I respect myself. So, hi, Buldi Ji, our Ron Ji. Yeah. Uh, so, Ron, uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, mentoring us. Around the 30, 40 guys in our batch were very, very, uh, I would not say the word proud because you don't like the call center vocabulary. Uh, I would say really it is a heartful thanks from our heart which you cannot measure the value you are giving to us and uh, uh, you are changing through us the life of the nation, life of the society, life of the future generation. Okay, and thank you for that, for being with us and Ron, I wanted to come for your one-to-one -one, uh, but it is scheduled, agreed and uh, see, um, I have been attending your uh, video sessions uh, and uh, a lot of video sessions have gone through in my mind and I have got my own style of reading. I go through your videos two or three times because I am not a guy who just do a skim, skim videos. I am a guy who would like to digest every video you are giving. So I know the one to one is due for me in the next month with you. Uh, so Ron, um, what actually happened is, I am, uh, I told you I am Dr. Sundaram, you know me, but still I will repeat, I am uh, the first uh, relationship mentor, Chennai is number one relationship mentor of India, Practo.com is a proof for that and my work is a proof for that. And I am mentoring young couples, uh, three to five years, either they are together or they go out within five years. And that is my passion, that is my mission. Okay. Uh, so now the second point which I would like to come to is when I was going through a session somewhere I am uh, uncomfortable with my own progress. I will take a five, another two, three minutes extra. I was uncom I want my friends to know that why I chose this book and where I was stuck up and how I came out of this. I was not happy with my own progress because somewhere something was telling me that I'm not able to, I'm putting my effort at 10 by 10 level but my result is somewhere 3 by 2 or 5 by 2. Then two, three introspections I did. Um, then uh, how my 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 other uh, colleagues are doing, my batchmates are doing, they are able to chunk for one hour that, one hour this, one hour the MBA for success for some time and then, then uh, your social media mastery some time, um, then your video some time, okay. Um, so then, then I went through your videos two, three times. Oh, pearls of wisdom is there. Every word, every sentence you speak, is a, a research laboratory uh, thought. You talk gem, gem out of gems are coming out of you, and I think I'm a spiritual person. You are also uh, I, I don't know whether you believe in God or not, but God is making you work through you to us. Otherwise, such gems of wisdom will not flow from your words and from your thoughts and from your action. Okay. Um, so I am a person uh, working with the young couples for the last 20 years. You can see it on 300 YouTube videos and I'm very successful. Uh, I just want to scale up, scale up my business. I'm only at a local level. I want to scale up. That is the reason I joined. Uh, number two, when I went through this, I was feeling that somehow I'm unhappy. Why I'm unhappy is because I'm not able to chunk my time like others. 
half an hour of social media, one hour MBA for success, one hour that, one hour this noon. Some of you don't know. Because you look at my background, then a thought came to me that you know, I just go through your, your own video. In the first intro video, I mentioned of two books. Two books. One is The Deep Work. Yeah, remember? Deep Work and Tiger Root Story. So then, uh, the deep word was something which can answer me. That is what the click for me was there. Then what I did, Carl Newport, like the author of deep work, I went to his videos. I went to his TEDx video. When I went to his TEDx video of Carl Newport, you are given a life to Carl Newport also in India through me. Uh, it makes more meaningful and this is what I require. This is what I require. Because I am a specialist. He talks of deep work, one is deep work and the shallow work. What is deep work? Deep work is a specialist work goes vertically down. Specialist is the, the guy who, who are working on um, most of the internet, you know, uh, email for half an hour, uh, uh, then eating half an hour, everything is scheduled and daily morning to evening they are scheduled and they do variety of things. They do not have time for themselves. So <clears throat> that was it. Then uh, I thought, okay, I have to go through the big because I believe in uh, the uh, straight taking from the horse. Then I purchased this book, deep work. This purchased this book. And I went through it. Uh, you can see my, uh, and I have a habit of uh, uh, underlining whatever I see. Um, so, this is where uh, I felt that this book has helped me and I would like to make a uh, review of this, this book. He um, talks of two things, one is deep work and another is shallow work. Deep work is uh, a cognitive demanding work. It is a focused concentration required for you to increase the map, putting the seeds on your mind. Then the seeds will grow. Whereas shallow work is a logical work and it is a um, mostly a template type of work anybody can copy it whereas a deep work nobody can copy it when you become a master of deep work or not. and here are the examples of many many people who have, who have understood this value of deep work and they produce results at a very miraculous level very very miraculous levels there are uh, two chapters one one particular portion is called the idea the concept the belief system of deep work and the second portion is called the application i would call it in my language it's called the application of deep work so um, the first example he talks about <laughs> from my own uh, psychology field is Carl Jung. Carl Jung is the um, uh, psychiatrists who want to revolutionize the psychiatric world and for that he has to get out of the chains of his mentor uh, Sigmund Freud. So as long as he was Sigmund Freud, same thoughts were going on. So what he thought when he came to India, he got a concept called meditation. He went to his home and made a three-storied uh, room, it calls a retirement room, where he occasionally goes, visits and does meditation and he gets a lot of ideas after meditation. Then he has completed the book Psychological Types, which is a great revolution in the um, field of psychology against his mentor's concepts. And number two is the example of Woody Allen. Woody Allen was uh, the Hollywood American uh, actor, director, comedian, whatever. 44 movies, all blockbuster, 44 academic awards, 40 years, working only on deep work in his own silent, silent room, silent chamber, chambers of silence. Uh, number two uh, example is, you know, the classical example of uh, Mark Twain, who, who wrote Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Adventures of Tom Sawyer. He also did it in his cabin. There's also in his cabin shed where nothing was disturbed. And uh, the two great examples which I really, which has hurt my heart is one thing which I can model is Rowling, the author of uh, Harry Potter series. She was given an assignment, she has to complete by day. So when she was doing at home, what appealed to me, I'm telling you, what when she was at home, so dog was barking, children was playing, relatives came. What she did immediately, she thought, okay, I have to meet my deadline, I cannot be creative as long as I am in the extract, uh, in the disturbed world. She just went into a hotel room, booked it in three days, completed the work. And the last guy I'm really proud of, which I did not know the story behind this, the tidal wave, the author of tidal, uh, the internet tidal wave is uh, Microsoft Bill Gates, one of our role models. 
um, he has something like um, think uh, tank. He just silently retires into his cottage in a forest away from the world. Okay, he just declares a think think week and he goes suddenly. And there he meditates. Meditate is not closing your eyes and thinking. He is meditating on the concepts, meditating on ideas, meditating on uh, what you want to contribute to the world. That is the outcome of this. So friends, I want you to, all of you, uh, to make one thing is uh, make deep work as a part of your uh, library, all my uh, bashmates. Uh, that will not only help you, it, it should be in a library, it should help you, your clients whom you are going to face. And uh, then they got a clarity and uh, thank Ran for that. Um, so Deepak was also asking uh, the same question from a bashmate. And Deepak ji, you have also this idea that you have your internal trigger. Hai, aapko passion hai. You have to identify your own energy buttons. And uh, still thank you, Ron ji, thank you, thank you so much for, uh, I would say, I told you, no? um, there is an old Raj Kapoor song. Dunya banane wale, dunya banane wale, kahe ko dil me samayi, kahe ko dunya banayi, kahe ko dunya banayi, kahe banayi tu ye maati ke putle, kahe banayi tu ye maati ke putle. So people doesn't know Hindi. The meaning is, Oh Lord, this is from a famous old Rashkapur song. Oh Lord, you made people and people always do something which you don't want. You are given the do's and don'ts, but they always move to the don'ts. And why you have made all these people? And this is a question which I have been asking for myself. And I got a clarity uh, through Ron Malhotra's verbal wisdom, oral wisdom of her speech. That is a link, I would say, uh, thanks to Ron and uh, thanks to Dave. And whenever I am telling Ron, Dave is also there. Uh, so this book. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. Ha-ha. <laughs>